138 or 150. That my car is so hooked up. It's crazy. I can whip it like. You know that wiring thread on our deck? It does. I've been working on this for the past week. What do you think? I don't see that part. CJ Farrell's on our you just put extra wires in there? <laughs> <laughs> you like, don't turn it in, you just like solder it all like you just do that. You even turn the wires and solder it all. That's not really enough. Yeah. The wires are reasonable. Yeah. That was like my uh, first couple of builds. Just like leave the wires to the wires to the wires. It was like when I first built it, it was like there was a race that weekend. I was yeah, trying yeah. to get it ready for it. I was like, oh, who cares? They're making it pretty good to make it go faster. Holy cow, that's pretty good. Did you notice there's a new line that is way wider than the Because I just took this mud wrap over and I was like, oh, it's an old line. That's green. I have, I think. Hmm? These old Gen 3s. Yeah. I, I would imagine they would. The new cases are a lot more, you know, tinier. Yeah. They like a lot more. It feels, it just felt heavy on this one. That's all we've got is the 3s, but we had them for the short course in the truck, so they, you know, I wanted the 3s because they don't heat as much. Yeah. That's a good motor. It just, I can see that making, so old, I can see it making a difference in the weight. Because I know on the low seat, just moving the, chain in your spur gear, moving the motor back and forth makes a big difference. It's like two years old. What is it? What is it? I know it's a Gen 3, but what is it? Eight five. Eight five.